Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City of Source. Today, I'd like to bring you guys a new series of Tech Tweak Tuesdays. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know this has been me and Start for a while. Had some video problems with my exporting, so we're just going to film straight on the iPad. So, let's get started. Today's Tech Tweaks will be on the iPhone and iOS platform, uh, performed with the Google Chrome app for free in the App Store. So, first tweak you'll see right here with Google Chrome is if you do have it, you'll notice it's a different icon. Now, it is a similar icon, but different in the sense that normally it uses the co these colors in this order, kind of in a circle. Um, normally in the circle, just to show kind of the normal Google Chrome icon on the desktop, shrunk in onto a black gradient uh, icon, such as the iMovie app. Um, so this is a much better icon, I think. Much more kind of represents the variety of Google Chrome not being just like kind of the cheap a cheap app uh, fits the polished UI of it. Now, if you want to get this icon for yourself, let me show you right here. It's called Better Chrome Icon Theme. It's by Brian Gonzalez in the iPhone Repo Center, um, also under the Big Boss Repo because that's just one of their partners. Okay, so that's the first tweak. That's uh, simply applied via Winterboard. Uh, you could simply change that. You'll, uh, icon in the app if you know how to do so instead of using winterboard which I've done myself okay next thing moving on would be chromanizer now you can't tell anything about it but it's spelled like this Let's just move on. uh chromizer oh, sorry not chromanizer chromizer by Sajori looks like uh that is via the mod my eye repository now what this does is this allows you to have many more features to chrome or actually rather not many more but things that are vast improvements, I feel, such as the first major thing to me is the, if you tap three fingers, you get full screen now, oh, without tapping buttons, you tap back, you get non-full screen. So that's a very, very nice feature. Second thing would be that on iPad, um, you get the simple window switching like this. This is standard on iPhone, on iPhone's version of Chrome already. But this does not happen on the iPad version, or so it's being said by that thing. I have not tested it yet on this iPad. Okay, moving on. One of the other things would be is that if you have multiple things, now this will require me to go to a different website. I've already loaded CNN up before. Now, let's say I got I went to CNN, I accidentally clicked that, and I don't want that. Instead of clicking that back button, let's say I'm even at full screen, I can simply swipe two fingers, and you can see that's back. Or I do decide, no wait, it was CNN I wanted to go to. I simply, oh. okay, that, that was a poor example on that page, but let's say, okay, let's say I click this article about Andy Griffith step, I click that, let's say I go back, you can see it goes that, and I go, wait, no, actually, I do want to read that, I'll simply just swipe forward again, two fingers, back and forth, very nice, another thing that's nice, is you can see right here at the top, is it has a simple pull to refresh very good thing if you're reading maybe Twitter or Facebook or something that requires refreshing and especially if you're on the full screen right here you can see that still resumes there um, stays in place very nice makes much use of the iPhone's tiny screen hopefully that would be something that we could hopefully say is useful kind of if the iPhone gets a bigger screen but for now that's a great feature uh, even iPad it's good on the full screen just optimizes the screen space better allows you to focus on just that. So again, that's Chromizer and better Chrome icon. Let me just show you guys one more time what that looks like. That's Chromizer by the in my Mod My repository by Sajori. And better Chrome icon theme by Brian Gonzalez on the iPhone repo center slash big boss repo. This is Matt from Ultimate City Source. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for Theme Thursday.